The insulating sheet in this problem has a negative charge density, so the electric field lines that I'm drawing here in orange will all converge on it. That electric field results in an electric force, Q times E, on the positive charge that's hanging from the thread, and that force, together with the charge's weight and the tension, hold the charge in equilibrium. We're asked to find this angle theta. To do that, we first need to know the electric field magnitude E, which we can do using Gauss's law. The integral over a closed surface of E dot dA equals the charge enclosed by that surface divided by epsilon naught. Given the planar symmetry in this problem, the Gaussian surface that we need is typically called a pillbox. We can draw it like a cylinder oriented perpendicular to the sheet. All of the electric field lines will pass through the two ends, each of which has an area A. The electric field is perpendicular to the sheet, aligned with the axis, so the integral of E dot dA becomes the electric field magnitude times the area of each of the end caps, twice A. That equals the charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface, which is the charge density times the cross-sectional area, divided by epsilon naught. We can solve this for the electric field and take its magnitude, substituting numbers to find the electric field magnitude from the insulating sheet is 141 newtons per coulomb. Now we can give ourselves a coordinate system and write Newton's second law for this charged particle. The charge is in equilibrium, so both of the accelerations are zero. Looking first at forces in the y direction, we can add them up and find that the tension in the thread equals the charge's weight divided by cosine of theta. In the x direction, we find these two forces, T sine theta in the positive direction and the electric force QE in the negative direction. If we substitute tension equals mg over cos theta and simplify, we can solve for the angle theta. It equals the inverse tangent of the electric force magnitude divided by the weight. When you substitute all the numbers that are given in the problem statement along with the electric field magnitude, you find that the equilibrium angle theta is 10.2 degrees.